Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back, we made it to Friday. Another, another week of quarantine down. Hello, India. That's right, I just had to, I put this out here because it's out of my reach. I can't get it with my left hand if I put it over here by the camera, so you guys can keep an eye on it, but don't get to use that, not today. <sighs> but it's okay, because drawing with a pen is fun. This is gonna be cool. Oh yeah, it's tablet time, Christopher. We're gonna do this thing. Puerto Rico. Welcome, Frederick. Hey fam, Civil. I am doing very well. Feeling feeling okay. Made it through another week. I know. It's I was just counting up. I have my normal mouse, which I'm not using. Over here on this side, I have the mouse for the streaming machine. I have a tablet here and then a touchpad sitting underneath that. So I actually have four, four pointing devices. And I guess we can count the 3D mouse too. So I'm not sure. That's, that's a lot. All right, we're going give, to give one more minute, guys, and then we'll get this thing started. Sunny Dorset in UK. Was that sarcasm? I know UK is not known for sunshine, so I wasn't sure if that was funny or not. Hey, Dave. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's cold and it is snowy outside here in case anybody's wondering. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, welcome. It's, uh, we made it all the way through another week. We are here. It's Friday again. We're gonna do some modeling again. Uh, I hope everybody is handling quarantine okay. There's not a, I don't think anybody enjoys quarantine. It's not a great thing, but I hope you're uh, all doing all right. With me on the line is Jody. Hey, that's me. That is you. Uh, so he's in my ear and in your speakers, hopefully, and hanging out with us, help out. And uh, yeah, today's going to be a little different because... In the place where normally I have my Logitech mouse, I have a stylus right here that we're going to use with this uh, Wacom Intuos tablet. So uh, Jody did put the the uh, links up in our. Uh, oh, I, I I was going to switch to the the other window and I I didn't know how for just a second there. It's going to take a second or two. Uh, let's see, where are we? We are right here. All right, so I created, I did create a topic in the forum. So if you're not already on there, forums.sketchup.com will take you over here. And you can see this is where uh, information is about what we're looking at. Uh, and then he put links up here to the specific setup that, that, uh, that Wacom gave us for this stream. So this is pretty cool. Um, just to give you guys a rundown before we actually no, let's we're doing this in the right order. So first, let's uh, let's talk about. Whoops, what did I do? So this is a touchpad too. So I'm having a hard time remembering that when my pen comes off, my hand can still do stuff. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a process. Should there be, should there be a, a pen jar for every time you take your pen off the off the tablet? Oh, nobody has time or money for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Uh, I did want to jump back to bag end real quick. So you guys remember last Friday we modeled uh, bag end and or the Hobbit hole, Bilbo and Frodo's residence. Uh, find the one that I made. Uh, I don't feel good about this delay I'm seeing here. This, this lag. This is not. This is not a good sign when you're live streaming. Um, but yeah, somewhere in here. I posted, there it is, there we go. I should just scroll by this instead of that. So this was the image, that, or this was the model that I posted. And I challenged you guys, I said, go ahead and take this and render it. So I believe two people took that to heart. There's still time. If you get it up by the end of this stream, I will show yours as well. But the ones I want to look at, MKADD official, I believe is how that would be pronounced, produced this very green render. So very nice. Uh, great job. Look at all the, the stuff overgrowing. Awesome job. Um, looks very cool. And then the other one, 
scroll down here. BX Saldana, Brian posted these p images, which are very cool. He threw that tree up and back, and it looks like he pulled maybe some images uh, from somewhere else and got a, uh, uh, what's it called when you're cute and creepy at the same time? Ooh. Cute. There's probably a German word for that. <laughs> uh that looks a lot like the one of the hobbits from the cartoon. It does, which, but like all chibied up. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play this. See how big I can get this to go. Oh, because this is kind of cool. Did a little animation as well. So there's sound too. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound, but. Uh, it's worth checking out, head over to head over there and, uh, check that out. Cool renders. Great job. And like I said, if we, uh, if you guys get other renders up by the, I'll check this at the end to make sure if anybody else gets a render and we'll, we'll show that to you. But now for today, uh, yeah, <laughs> I court, I accidentally coordinated my hat with my, uh, jacket here. So I do have, I'm still repping a little, little bit of logo there. Uh, like I said, in the garage, it is a bit chilly today. There is snow on the ground. So uh, I felt no need to pretend. I just went straight for extra layers. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. First thing I want to do, I want to I talk about the setup. So I do have my 3D mouse here. I don't know how much I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna to try to do as much as I can just with the tablet. The issue with the tablet, of course, is going to be shortcut keys. Um, I have eight shortcut keys, so four up here, four down here. I've done a little mapping to both of these. I do have this wheel here, which is programmable, but uh, the options are limited in SketchUp. The other thing is, is this right here. I'll show this to you. So this is not the standard pen that comes with the Intuos. This is the Pro Pen 3D. So this is different from the standard pen they give you. The standard pen has just two buttons. This actually has a third button up there in the front. And it's meant intentionally or, or intended for 3D programs because it gives you basically, this is set up to put like a uh, 3D tumble, orbit, animate kind of command on. So I'll show you guys how I set that up uh, as we do this. Um, and actually, I'm going to start there. I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. We'll probably jump back. I'm actually looking for anybody out there, any of you guys who use tablets, feel free to let me know what I could do better <laughs> because uh, it's been a long time since apparently I uh, did something there to make the notifications come up. Let's try that again. Uh, you guys want to give me updates or ideas of things I could do, I'm, I'm more than willing to hear it. So first thing, I did map some stuff specifically for uh, SketchUp. Um, on my pen, here's what I mapped. So obviously the, the tip is just a left click. So if I tap on something, it's just a regular left click. I set the big button, the extra button, the big one right here, to the scroll wheel. So that means I can tap that and then orbit in 3D. Then above that, the middle button right here, I have that set to a space and then right click on this end. So basically all the standard stuff I could have with a normal three button mouse plus the ability to get back to select is on the pen. From there, I went through and put some keys on. So the top set of buttons, these ones right here are escape, draw line, eraser, and then something called precision mode. I'll show you what precision mode is when we get in there. Below that, I have my modifier keys, shift control, option and command. So I've already forgotten which these are, so I plan to stumble over that. Um, and then the other thing is the touch ring. So I set it up as I spin this to zoom. So basically the same as with what I'd have on, a, on the middle wheel of a mouse, that's done by spinning this right here. So I think I've emulated pretty well everything that I would have in my three button mouse with this setup, which is really cool. Um, 
the thing that's not here, like I said, is the shortcut keys. So I will have to be jumping up to the keyboard or the shortcut keys on the mouse. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I didn't want to overuse the mouse. I want to see how much I can get away with just doing this. But like I said, I have heard more than one uh, tablet user say they've found big advantage to adding the 3D mouse to their tablet. So I want to see, do a little bit of modeling just like this and then hop over here. If that's a realistic workflow, then that obviously frees up uh, some of the controls here to do different things. So uh, you could you could take a screenshot of your mapped keys and stick them in a watermark like you normally do with the other stuff. And then you'll just have true. it there always. I'll just, you guys will have to remind me. You just have to go, we'll say I'm, one, I two, three, I already four, five, forgot what six, you did. seven, eight. Yeah, me too. That's the plan. <laughs> People seem to enjoy it when I struggle a little bit though. I'll be honest, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Dave Richards is saying he has a 21 inch Cintiq. If you guys don't know what a Cintiq is, it's actually a uh, graphic, what do they call it? A graphic pen display, I think is the term that Wacom uses, where you're basically drawing on the screen, which is awesome. That is, that is super cool. Uh, it takes a, one piece of hand-eye coordination away because you're actually gonna put the pen on the screen to draw with. Um, oh, he's left-handed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna add that to my my things. To I'm not gonna learn to be left-handed. I don't know if that was intentionally a challenge. From here, it kind of looks like you are left-handed. Does it? My left. From here, you're left-handed. My left. I'm looking at your. Now I'm, I'm lined up with you. Here. I'm gonna move on. I'm confused. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So we'll go ahead and hop in. Like I said, this this setup may change as I move through here, but. Uh, We'll give it a shot and see how it goes. I, I will say this though. I will say already, uh, just playing around. I didn't do a lot. I, I spent maybe an hour, hour and a half, something like that, trying to get this set up and figure out what to put on buttons and how to ideally use the scroll here. Um, I'm gonna use undo from over there. Uh, but I, I haven't done any lengthy amount of drawing like I'm going to right now. Um, so with that, let's hop in, let's make an Airstream. So I already had the question, what model of Airstream am I drawing? Uh, I don't have a specific one. Uh, Jody went and looked for images too, and it was surprising to find, see how few, uh, <laughs> sorry, Mark Jeanson on Facebook just says we enjoy when you struggle because it proves you're human and not a corporate robot. Why, thank you very much. <laughs> In my experience, he's very human. <laughs> oh, I, I excel at being human, if that's what we're talking about. Um, no, that's actually part of the things I strive for with this, with this stream specifically is I do want this to be realistic. I don't, we do training videos already. We do stuff where we rehearse and have everything set up and cut for time and that kind of thing. This is supposed to be more like a live uh, design process. So that's why I like having you guys in here. I try not to over prepare. I just make it pretty realistic if we can. Um, all right. So I had something else I was going to touch on, but now I feel like I'm stalling. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start by grabbing the one image I found, uh, which I think does a good job of showing what I'm looking for. So I'm going to grab this JPEG and then import it. Oops, I imported it as a match photo. I already screwed up once. That was quick. Just proving you're human early. Yeah, I got that out of the way, huh? Ugh. Early and often. All right, let's try that again. Yes, I'm going to delete that. All right. Hold on, now my camera is at a weird... <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Well, that was, that was quick. I, I did that fast, you guys. Screwed everything up with no time to spare. All right, let's try that again. Uh, all right, so here's so this is what I have set up right now. Right now, the, the touch wheel is zoom, so it's going to zoom in on my cursor, and then the big button is where I can orbit from. So... Close this up, close this up. I'm using my noisy keyboard. Switch. 
one more time. Import. Go grab that image. And I want to see my options because I want to tell it to import that as an image. All right, so here's what I got to start with. So this is going to give me the rough geometry of the shell. That was really the big thing that I was looking for is if you look at like the classic Airstreams, Airstreams are still being made today, but they, they look, they're still got, they're still, I don't know, stainless or something like that. They're still metal on the outside, but they don't quite have that bubble shape that the classic ones do. If you know what I'm talking about. And this, if you look at it, it does actually have all those. So here on the side, it has this little bit of a bubble out on the sides. Uh, looking at the, the section through here, it does come out like this. That's the shape I want to, yeah, I think they're, they might be aluminum. I think Steve, Steve got me uh, on that one. There are vertical faces. The front and back from the windows down are vertical, but everything else on the model is, is uh, domed or rounded. So that is the big piece that I wanted to get. So if nothing else, if we leave this model today at the end of the day with a big bubble of aluminum, I'll be happy. Ideally with some doors and windows punched in it, maybe a couple wheels under it. We'll see how that goes. But mostly I want to get that aluminum shell because that is the, that's the piece that I, I want to uh, challenge myself with. Um, Yep, aluminum, aluminum, yeah. aluminum. You guys got it. Yeah, I'm trying to find out if they're still doing aluminum or if they changed it up. I got a couple questions. How can I learn SketchUp from scratch? I would say check out our website. We have a link to something called SketchUp Campus there. Awesome way to learn SketchUp. Um, I'll go add a couple links to the forum post. That sounds perfect. If you check out forums.sketchup.com and look for the modeling and Airstream live in SketchUp, Jody is going to put a couple links up there. So you'll be able to see exactly what those are. Okay, so I am going to, you know what, here, let's, let's do this. Escape, rectangle. Um, all right, I'm going to start by sticking a rectangle in here. And I'm trying to get... The ground plane. So as I looked at these different uh, oh, look at that. Shift in conjunction with the middle mouse button to pan. See that's that's gonna work. Uh, but as I look at these different images, you can see like right here, it does come back to this piece. So it bubbles out of here. Same on the ends, it comes straight down. So I think what I got here is going to work. Uh, I want to have that flat plane that everything will come up from. Now, I don't want to model this whole thing. Um, so I got my line button here. So I'm going to just cut this floor plane in half. Use my eraser, get rid of those, get rid of this. All right, so now, I think this is just a standard arc. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to put an arc in the midpoint here. Not quite. Looks like it is just slightly, just, just off of a standard arc. So I'll come up here and grab my Bezier curve. I'm gonna go from the midpoint they here. Have, they probably didn't have computers and smart things like that. They were just eyeballing it. <laughs> There we go. And I think it's the same front and back. So I'm going to try this. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'll grab this piece. I will uh, move it. Uh oh, I don't remember which one was option. Ah, got it. That little guy with the dash on. Wait, I see option. it. You've got four options. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I, I got to give you credit. That was, that was it. But only one of them's right. I'm, I'm right. out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> oh, not me. Uh, 
All right, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get rid of these pieces. Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like the way that ties in there. All right, so I'm gonna undo a couple times. All right, I'm gonna draw that arc again. So I'm gonna draw my curve come from here. Uh, zoom in just a touch back a little bit further this one's gonna come out like that this one there that looks that looks better all right so I'll grab this take it over here use scale to flip it and move it back all right that that looks better so I'm gonna go ahead and erase my corners off now and I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this into a component. I'm going to uh, pull it up, going to give it a little bit of depth. Oops, wrong button. Turn off x ray. And then I will triple click, right click, make component. I'm going to call this half floor. And now let's see, I will actually, I will mirror that. I have to zoom in though. It feels appropriate to use mirror while you're making a big shiny Airstream. It, it makes a lot of sense. Option click. Hmm, why is it not working? Hmm. I'm not every time something messes up can we blame it on the the wagon dang straight all right i'm going to move a copy right here and then no actually i'll just let's right click flip along the green axes i knew that was going to work and then i'll grab it and put it back all right did you know that mr tadros from the uh the PM team had built out, like they re refabbed uh, or refurbished uh, Airstream and lived out of it for a while before he was on the SketchUp team. I did not know that. Yeah. I don't, he might still have know. it. Can you run out and pull some dimensions for me if I get stuck? <laughs> I'll see if I can reach him. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so those pieces then uh, shift. Um, I'm just going to group those together. That way I can move them a little bit easier. All right. So actually we're, I'm going to tag that too as being floor. So do you think those, those dimensions are the outermost edge of the side bulges? I assume so. Um, and I guess, like I'm, I mean, it's it. aluminum, but I'm a guess, guessing that there's some depth to it. Right. Uh, because uh, it's got, I mean, it's got to have some kind of insulation. I'm assuming it's not just a thin chunk of aluminum and, and there shows depth and there's enough depth in there to put a window in. So uh, my thought is to get that outer shell and then use joint push pull to give it some depth. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see how that works. That's good. Okay. All right. Um, so that's as far as I figured out how to do. Uh, the next thing, I'm going to slide this off to the side. We actually, I have to figure out how to, so I have multiple arcs here. So somebody's asking about uh, left, right, front to back. I don't think they're the same. So if, if, I, if I look right here, this arc looks very different from this arc. So I don't think they're the same. I think that I can only do half and the front and back are going to have to actually be two separate pieces. Um, so that's, that was a good question, but, uh, I do think they have to be separate ones. Um, yeah, these walls bubble out too. That's, that's one of the things I really like about this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a line right here at the middle. Take a line out like this. 
perfect line down to the bottom. Bring it like that. And then I'm going to draw another Bezier curve. I like to say Bezier. I'm going to pull this. It makes you feel cultured, right? It does. I'm like. I'm kind of curious when you look at the the long wise version of that. There's like this weird chunk of something at one end. That didn't quite work. And I can't tell if it's changing the angle of that bulb at that end. Oh, that that piece. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I was wondering if it's like that kind of grayish looking thing. Air conditioner or <laughs> something. I think the air like conditioner that? hangs down in the middle. I have to find that picture again. No, that was not it. All right. I'm going to do this as two curves. I'm trying to do it as one, but I'm just not not feeling it. It's not not feeling right. Oops, I undid my bottom line here. There we go. So the first one I want to pull back on the green. All right, I'm, fra I'm feeling frazzled, guys. <laughs> You're looking really, really human. Oh, holy crap, I've never felt so human before. All right. All right, so I'm gonna pull my first one I want to come out just a little bit like this. And then my second one, I want to get I think like that. All right. Let's take, let's just take that. I'm gonna take this and make that into that? a component. Uh, side section two. All right, and I'm gonna move that. Where's that section two? It's right here. So I think this is like the most, I'm going to grab by this piece right here, put it right here on the end of that curve. All right, and then um, I'm going to take that, rotate that vertical, rotate 90 degrees so it's in plane. And then move it back over here. And actually, I think that is where I want to slide this over because I think I want from that intersection, I'll pull it straight to the side. That's going to give me that little gap I have for material, I think. All right, so what I think happens here is I think this shape can be pulled down to there. I believe that's fair. Um, yeah, so I feel good about that. Um, now the question is going to be this right here, getting this curve on one end and this curve on the other end. And then once I have both of those, then we got to come through and, and basically dome the whole thing out. 
this is where the front and back differ because the the back end is less aerodynamic. So this is the part where I believe the trailer hitch is right here. So, you know, aerodynamics, I think that's the front. Um, somebody could argue with me and set me straight on that. I believe this is the front. So this actually, this whole, whole thing is that it's, when you look at it, you can actually see the pieces of metal that are, are bent and riveted together or uh, there's a seam or something, but they put the pieces together like that. So it goes over. Uh, this piece, however, I think is actually, how do I describe this? It goes straight up the window and then goes straight back and then it has like corners. So whereas this piece is gonna be kind of a fan of, of angled pieces, I believe that this end is just gonna be one that comes down and then corners. We'll see, we'll see. I'll see how that works out for me. Um, Oops. so, uh -huh. I might have accidentally disconnected myself. I don't know if anybody can hear me. I can, I can hear you, Jody. Okay. Can okay. everybody else hear me? Dramatic pause. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Moon Man says, yep, I'm assuming that's to your question. Okay. All right. So, all right. Oh, awesome. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop in here and I'm going to make a, a slight change. I'm going to start using my 3D mouse just for a little bit. <laughs> it hurts. That was 30 minutes. You made it 30 minutes. Oh, pretty good. I'll take it. Whew. Um, I tried, but I'm just, I keep... I, my, my hand just goes like this. I can't even help it. Like, this is okay. This is actually kind of nice. If, if this is all you had, uh, if, if you didn't or... So one of the things that about using a pen is people talk about all the time is the repetitive strain from having your hand laying down flat like this in, in a claw shape because you get you know, tendonitis and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, this is supposed to be much more natural. So I could actually see that. This is actually very... It feels very comfortable moving around. The part that I'm struggling with right now is being, I'm dependent on 3D mouse anyhow. I'm, I mean, that, that definitely isn't something new. But uh, the thing that's getting me is movements on, on here are absolute. So if I put, pick my mouse up and I move down to the lower right corner, my mouse goes there. Pick it up, move to the upper right corner, mouse goes there. Um, whereas you know, a standard mouse is relative to where you start from. So you're gonna go across the screen, you go once, twice, two swipes to get up there, that kind of thing. This is taking a little bit of getting used to for my brain to remember, oh, if I wanna to go to the middle, I just put my thing in the middle. So I'm getting there, I'm getting, I'm getting better though. I feel like I'm getting, something's getting better. You, you use a tablet like I use a 3D mouse. Oh, that, that's, that sounds like a fair comparison. All right, so. I want to make sure as I do this, that this shape I make is gonna be the same height as this profile over there. So I just copied the end off and stuck it here. Really the only part I'm concerned about is this line right here. All right, so I'm gonna grab a line, pull it out here. This part does go up straight to the top of the window and then it's an arc from there up here. So I'm gonna say that that is my end. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Place it at the end and it did, it did automatically snap for me, that was nice. And I'm going to rotate that. Oops. Jim Morve uses the trackball mouse, which I think would be Whoa. every bit as hard to learn or get used to. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. All right, this is this is this is making me feel very positive because right now I have a very similar gap between these two, so I feel like dimension-wise, I'm online. I should point out that Jody and I were talking about this earlier, and we're not entirely sure where this plan came from. It's not officially. Uh, 
an Airstream plan. <laughs> so it didn't come off their website or anything. They do have like, their images are kind of, well, they look like- They're all floor plans, what I found. Right, they're kind of pseudo rendered, uh, yeah. th th which is cool. They look great and not, not say anything bad at all. Um, but they definitely don't look like this. So I'm not sure where this even came from. All right, next thing I do is I got to get, I, I'm thinking two pieces here. Here's my thoughts. Um, I think I'm going to come in here, draw a line back like this. Actually, no. First thing I'm going to do is triple click this geometry and put it into a component. We'll call this the side back middle. <laughs> what, what, what does side mean? What is, no, this is the back. This is the back of the thing. It, it, back, inside, outside, front side, middle, back side. I guess so. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes words just come out of my fingers and I don't know. I was typing some this morning and it was a four sentence, four word sentence. And I managed to mis mistype three of them. So that's how my day started. All right. If you feel any better, you're not doing much better with that 3D mount or touch tablet. That's thing. the kind of support I need. Thank you. <laughs> I just try to keep you humble. Human. Yeah, because I need I need that right now. I need humility as I stumble my way through drawing a line. <laughs> it makes me feel better for you to keep you down. Raise myself oh. up by keeping you down. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so I'm going to try to just kind of emulate this curve. Pull off of here. This one will pull off of here. Ooh, Endless Fix posted a horrible image. I think you should model it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's how an airstream is not supposed to look. If you guys are wondering, that's that's just the crumple zone. That's for safety. That's crumpled. All right. So I'm wondering if I can do this. If I can get away with this. If I take this and then I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's so close. All right. Now, if I draw a line connecting this piece to this piece, and this line, of course, is an arc, and I want it to be exact, so I'm just going to come in here, grab this line, control C, come out of context. Edit, paste in place, should drop it in the exact same spot. Should even break it. So get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Hey, we're 36 minutes in the, into this and nobody's told me to save yet. So someone did ask early on if you mapped saving <sighs> to one of those I, keys. I didn't. Hold on. I need to drink some of my creative juices. It's coffee. Just, just <laughs> it's not. Oh, it is afternoon. You can do whatever you want. My <laughs> wife just informed me with excitement that the new Pixar movie is on Disney Plus now. So it is, and that's I'd our have, plan for to tonight. It. Also, <laughs> <laughs> finish this. Go sit on the couch and watch Onward. That's my day. All I right. I found out that the the guy that directed that actually went to Amy's high school. He's a grade grade ahead of her, but mm. he's a young guy like us. I'm making facial expressions right now, Jody. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> like us. Everybody's younger than somebody except for one dude. I think about I mean, that. Everything, like age being relative, you can always find somebody older than you or younger than you, except there's one person. There's one person who's the oldest, and there's one person who's the youngest. If you're, if you're good, you could be the oldest, briefly. Yeah, yeah. I, I think know. maybe not briefly. Somebody's born every fraction of a second or something like that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so I do actually. The, speaking of the save key, I've never mapped anything to save, and I don't really know why that is. I never have it on the toolbar, so it's always coming up here and hitting Command S. Uh, I don't know why. 
what I'm what I'm thinking. Actually, this is my kind of my retirement plan. Once we get through the quarantine, is I'm going to create a like a little halo that you put on your head, and then you just tip your head to you map keys to your head gestures. So then all you've got to do is just get this awkward left hand twitch, and all of a sudden you're saving. Somebody probably already made that. I like that. I, I remember way back seeing modifier key foot pedals. <laughs> where, yeah, I think I've seen that too. Where you could actually hit control, shift, whatever with your feet. And that's, I don't think those lasted long, but I do remember those. All right, focus. Not my strong Sorry. suit either. That's right. All right, so I'm going to grab these and I'm going to use curve loft on this. It's kind of funny because as I was thinking about this, Hidden quite a few of the extensions they talked about being favorite extensions as we do this. So not intentionally, just kind of worked out that way. Um, I'll go ahead and open this up because I'm going to be using this one a lot. And I'm just going to skin that. No, wait, wrong one. Escape. Let me out. Cut it out. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Now, here's the question. I if that looked right. That looks like it belongs in a really, like, cool, modern-looking bathroom. I like it. Maybe it is, I guess. That turned out pretty nice. All right. So moving on, um, so I know I have to re reverse the face and I'm going to start s soldering groups together. But first I want to get this one. Um, I'm going to do the same thing I did, I think. I'm going to come in here. I still have that one, so I can actually just get rid of these other extra lines. So I have this line, but now I need to come grab this line and this line out of their own respective groups. So come in here, grab this one, control C, come out, edit, paste in place, and it should break at this one. So I can grab just the lower section. Yep, delete that, double click over here. This one will already be broken because it actually has a transition here. Control C, edit, paste in place. All right, so now I should have three lines that I can skin again. I feel a little vindicated after that train wreck that was the Cobra, because <laughs> that, that was smooth. That worked really well. I should probably call it right now. We were just talking about Frank Costanza, or no, I'm sorry, George Costanza from Seinfeld and leaving on a high <laughs> Frank, note. Frank was his dad. Yeah, Frank was his dad. And uh, just saying, thank you very much, and walking out right now, because that, that worked well. Let's see if we can keep it up. Keep it going. Um, all right, so all right, I, I got to say this. I am. Uh, I'm trying not to think too much about how I'm modeling, but this having the 3D mouse with the tablet, this feels really good. Um, so I was struggling a little bit trying to do just the zooming and all this stuff with the rings, and it, it was I was fighting it definitely. This being able to do this over here and then move here feels super natural. I re like no, I'm sorry feels very natural, not supernatural. It's not that good, but it does feel... Uh... <laughs> I thought I saw a ghost. <laughs> Spooky. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this this actually, I really like this. This this is starting to feel much much better than I was feeling before. I'm, like, I'm liking this a lot. So would you say I would be a better modeler if I used a 3D mouse coupled with a Wacom tablet? So that question comes up about peripherals all the time um, and I'll say that for most software I, I, I don't know that hardware is going to make you good or bad at something um, you still have to know the software you have to know the program you have to know what the commands are what the workflows are what the processes are um, but I would say there's probably some learning curve that's changed so if you are used to using a tablet already, whoa, which obviously I'm not. If you are used to using a tablet already, then it's gonna slow your transition by using a tablet in SketchUp. Uh, 
the 3D mouse, most people don't already use a 3D mouse, so I don't know that it'll ever make you quicker or better to pick up SketchUp. So that's as a beginner. Once you're used to it, uh, I really think that personally, I've found that a 3D mouse actually speeds up my, my modeling process. So I'll say that in this particular case, yes, I actually feel like I'm quicker when I'm modeling with the mouse or modeling with a 3D mouse for what that's worth. All right, all right. So I don't know if that was enough double talk to get out of saying anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> you said nothing. I, speaking of uh, of Seinfeld, it was a, <laughs> that was a conversation about nothing. That it was, that it was. All right, I gotta get my other curve. So I'm gonna grab this. This is my reference. I grabbed reference plane out of there again. That's and there's something there. going on with with my my multi-stream thing. Every time I type, it types multiple times. It repeats my last thing I said on the YouTube channel specifically. Hmm. So and Ed has it right for me. Sometimes going slower forces you to think more. That that's probably a true statement. There's there's definitely well I see I struggle with that because sometimes. I do think that is, is true a lot of times. What I struggle with is sometimes I need to just get stuff out of my head and I, I, I speed through things. And uh, it doesn't always turn out well. <laughs> so there's definitely times where slowing down and figuring out how you're doing something's good. But then for me, there's times where if I slow down too much, I'll, I'll lose what I'm chasing after. So... I would say both those cases are, are probably true sometimes. <laughs> so there's a fine line between slow and too slow. That's right. Between, uh, yeah, dragging and... Uh, uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking you? about. <laughs> All right. So I got this. And now I'm going to flip that upwards. And move it from this point, and I'm going to stick it underneath right here. Now, this was one of the things I was wondering about. Because this round section is larger, I think it goes back further. So this will actually have to move in something like that, which means this finished arc will have to push back to there uh, Ed McGullen is talking about uh, keeping paper and pencil beside the computer for ideas I literally do that <laughs> all the time because <laughs> I do struggle with think, that that is definitely a I think the name was McGuggan sorry McGuggan I added an L Fine. But yeah, that's absolutely, I do that because I, I have a hard time, like I was saying, letting, go, what, what am I doing to make that come up? All right, so this section right here, um, I think I can do something similar to what I did before. Uh, it is going to be bigger. It's going to be this whole thing because like I said this whole this whole section right here is one big rounded piece It doesn't have that flat section coming over like the front did. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my one line over this way I'm going to put that arc down Here to here Pull this one out like this, take this one in. That wasn't right. Do that again. Here, here. All right, third try is a charm. Right in the middle of those two. That's someone else asking for your image. I'm going to go push it in the, put it in the forum. Oh, the image that I, yeah, I, did, I should have shared that. That one's on me. Sorry about that. That's all right. 
Man, I'm trying to figure out how to get this arc right. Um, maybe less, pull it out less like that. And then, no. You know what I should do? I should really simplify this whole thing on myself. We'll come into this, copy that. Paste it, oops. Like this, stick it right here. And then offset that, or, oops. That, there we go. And then I, I think I'm gonna start a tally. I might not do it on this one, maybe next time. Where every time you say oops, I just do a little check mark. <laughs> oops. Oops. All right. So then I can take this, this, this line. Is that all of them? And I'm going to copy that and then just get rid of everything else. All right, image is up. Here, I'll just undo a bunch. Uh, Claudia suggested because you push pull, there's a line at the other end too. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what you're doing. I don't doubt what you're I saying. I just don't understand what you're saying. Yes. That's the problem with the latency between you doing stuff. And what's being written? <clears throat> yeah, this is my voice. I'll soften that curve a little bit. Um, and I'm going to grab all these chunks, weld them into one piece, and I'm going to grab that. Oh, didn't work. All right, triple click. Now I know it's all, all connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld that. And now pick that up, move it, option right there. All right, so obviously this isn't, isn't in the right spot. So I'm wondering if I can grab this. That I think out. we're creating a drinking game for your oopses right now. It could be happening. I'll, I'll be right back. I got to go grab my glass. Uh, great. Like, I don't have enough to be self-conscious of. Thanks, guys. <laughs> grab this. Uh, I, Ed did suggest you should hit save every time you say oops. That's probably not a bad idea. I don't I don't hate that. That's not bad. I did not. I did not do that right. Hold on. Control C. Edit. Paste in place. Grab that, delete it, draw a single line from here down to here. All right, with that, I should have one, two, three, four. Wait, did it get that? How many pieces do I have selected right now? Oh, yeah, it's highlighted. Okay, I'm going to save. Without an oops, skin that thing, beauty. All right, last piece. I, like I said, <laughs> if at the very least I get this shell, I'll be a happy man. This is looking surprisingly good. You. Uh, Thanks for that backhanded compliment. I learned the best. I learned from my dad. He's the best at that ever. <laughs> wow, I thought you were gonna do a lot worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite dadism was you don't sweat much for a fat kid. <laughs> uh 
Thanks, Dad. Uh, oops, I think I, I just pasted. I just oops. Chug a lug, Pooh Bear. Oops. Jim's got a keg he said next to him. Oof. He's, you're going to have him soused by... That sounds like a clock. challenge, Tim. Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's one way to pass the quarantine, I suppose. All right, so I'm going to copy this. Edit, paste, in place. All right, so that should give me my last few sides. Oh uh, yeah, see that's the that's the shape that that's the thing. Oh baby, that's I think the my favorite part of of that extension is just the magic when it all of a sudden it happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody else has played if they, if I my faces are always backwards like this. I don't know what it is if that's just if that's just luck. It happens to be how it turns out. Um, that's odd. All right. So I'm going to grab all these pieces and make them into one component. And I'm just going to call this shell or half shell. That's what we'll call it. Half shell. Like, like the Ninja Turtles. All right. And I'm going to grab all of this. Or oysters. And right. I'm going to explode it. And I'm going to... Oops. Oops again. Orient faces. <laughs> I got goosebumps. Get rid of these two lines. That should get rid of those interior surfaces, I think. Get rid of these. Because I really do only want to. Uh oh. Am I deleting too much? Erase away from yourself. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab all of this. And so what's really fun on my end is I'm seeing what's appearing on YouTube, and I'm hearing you talk in real time. So you say oops, and then I have to wait 10 here, seconds. Here it comes. Before I know what happened. He's got a special Jody sense. He knows what's coming before it gets there. All right. Uh, yeah, Ed McGuggan said... Hopefully that's right. Guggen, Guggen said uh, he actually likes the reverse faces because you can actually differentiate and see the surface differences. Um, but that sounds it's like easy enough to, it's easy enough, easy enough to flip. Uh, Reed Settle on Facebook is asking which extension. That was Curvalof from Fredo 6, available through the Sketchucation plugin store. And I bet Jody could throw up a link if somebody <laughs> said please. I can. I can and will. All right. Okay, so that is done. At this point, uh, from here moving forward, there is no point in maintaining a left and a right side. I don't think. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces in here. I'm going to explode them. And then just get rid of the seam lines. There's no point in having that bottom piece be a separate piece. And then I'll triple click and soften to get rid of those extra lines on the corners too. Same thing here. I'll take this one. I'll move a copy over here. Scale it. Move it point to point, and then I can take both of these, make sure they line up perfectly first, and then, all right, so here's the, here's the piece I'm struggling with, and I think this is just, I just got to, I have to use this more, but the right button, the one that's the furthest one up, I'm, like, it's breaking my flow, because I got to stop and almost move the pen in order to get up there. Like I just got to figure out exactly where my, like my buttons aren't oriented right either. I'm not conscious of what way I'm spinning the pen. Uh, so my buttons keep getting away from me. But uh, I definitely have to practice, I would definitely have to practice that. Uh, getting those, selecting those things right. 
getting the, the buttons right. All right, so I'm gonna explode them, and then immediately, because I don't want to join with anything else, I'm gonna make a component of that and just call it the shell. Shall, shell. All right, and now, actually I should even be able to erase this. This doesn't even have to be hidden. I can just get rid of these lines. Ooh, one would think. Wow. All right. Uh, look at my hidden geometry. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Wait, does that go in? I got butt cheeks. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Everybody has butt cheeks. Jeez, get over yourself. Ah, oh, guys, I thought I had it. I thought this was just nailed, and now I'm having Cobra flashbacks Aww. again. Ugh. The back hey, here's your that. chance to stitch. You know how you feel about stitching. I do enjoy it. No, but I shouldn't. I should, I should fix this proper. Okay, I, something looked a little off, and now I'm definitely seeing what's not right. I can't believe I just modeled a trailer butt. Nice. All right, so thick, as the kids would say, it is, and aluminum. All right, kids or, would say that as well, unless they were kids from the other side of the pond, at which points they may say aluminium. I don't understand. Sorry, I'm cultured, like a lot. <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally cultured. I'm totally, totally cultured and stuff. Um, all right, so let's get this let's get this patched. I'm not going to hand stitch this. I'm going to let Curveloff do its thing. I'm going to get grab just that B and I'm just going to fill that right in. Boom. And now I can But see, I'm Hmm. <laughs> So I, I will take that, explode it. Save it. Command does it. All right, there we go. That's, that's one sick looking butter dish right there. Throw a little handle on that. Mm, good stuff. All right. I do want to put apply a mirror texture now. What's that? Apply a mirror texture now. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you do that. I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Um, we do have, if I look at, I think we have metal. Christopher Morin said, congratulations, you've made Wonder Bread. Yeah, there's a lot of clicks to draw to make that, right? There we go. That's the one. All right. But it doesn't have thickness. It doesn't have any depth to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one whole thing. It's technically one face right now, which is kind of cool. So that whole big thing is a single surface. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go uh, tools, Brio 6 collection. Joint push pull, and I'm use the thickener. Thicken it that much. See how it turns out. So Jim asks, would joint push pull work for wall thickness? Absolutely. If that is how you draw your stuff. Um, looked like a lot of it worked. I did lose some faces though. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to back down some of this softening. There we go. And uh, yeah, so it worked, pr that worked pretty good. Uh, a couple pieces here that didn't for some reason. Not sure what happened here. This is, this was a pretty, Pretty simple face, but for whatever reason, uh, something didn't line up. But 
easy enough to stitch. Same thing here. I'll just grab a line, pull it straight across. Uh, that didn't close up. Interesting. Let's try this one. Go from here to here. Something's just not quite aligned. I don't know. I'm not sure, but again, I'm not going to troubleshoot it. I'm just going to, ah, that didn't work. Got, got cocky. Hmm. Why? Why? Why you don't like this? All right, let's get this thing. I'm going to make, I'm going to make you close whether you like to or not. It's, it's only a matter of time. You sound like my mom. She wants you to close too? No, she makes clothes. Hmm. Make you close. Make, she said, I'm going to make you close. Oh. There's a different, there's a is different spelling. A closest. I think is what those are called. Yes. How appropriate, though, you're using stitching to make closes. I do it. I, I do it's got to be done. Um, so somehow, what? This is refusing to close and I don't know why so I'm not going to spend too much more time on this because I'm irritated <laughs> all right we'll move I always just make smaller and smaller triangles filling in my other one and I always go to midpoints instead of end to end yeah that, like that there we go All right, there we go, that ends closed. And then over here, we just had some weird overlaps, I think, so I might be able to just, I'm guessing that the issue here is I have like just slight, slight folds over themselves. So I think I can come in here and just erase some of the, yeah, see those points don't quite meet. They're just slightly off. So when I get that, what I tend to do, look at that, see that little T, oh, that's it. Oh, it's a triangle. It's so cute. It's so gone. All right, so what I usually do when this happens is I just delete half of it. So I'm just going to get rid of this half over here. And this is, this is one of the issues with uh, using thickener is it does kind of do this sometimes. I mean, it's still, it's, it's not a big deal. This is way easier than recreating that, that surface a second time. But uh, I missed. Erase this. Ooh, good times. Feeling had. You know, it was funny. We were uh, just talking about watching Onward on Disney Plus tonight. Actually, yesterday we watched Tangled, which I guess I've seen before, but I think I fell asleep last time I watched it because like <laughs> a good 40% of that movie was new to me. Uh, was good. <laughs> it was good. I got, I got twice the enjoyment out of it apparently because... So, so you were Sleeping Beauty watching Tangled. Oh, you think I'm Tangled. pretty? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right place for that conversation. I agree. Moving on. It was funny to watch in the current environment because it occurred to me that basically Rapunzel lives like a quarantiner where she is locked up in her room doesn't get to leave, doesn't get to see other people, is begging her mom to just go outside and do stuff with other people just for a little bit. And of course, her mom's a wicked witch, so it's, it's not quite the same as when I have to tell my own kids, no, they can't go out, but still. I saw some parallels. Well, and don't you also have a pet gecko? Uh, my daughter has a gecko, yes. 
So it oh, is far less oh talented than uh, what's his name? Uh, Pascal. Pascal, yes. Oh, you've I apparently think. seen that once or twice too, huh? Well, I just like the name Pascal. Oh, so I just remember it. It is a good name. Whoops. Oh, little jerk. Multi line cause problem. Oh no. So at this hey, point, I'm kind of wondering if what I should be doing. <sighs> this is getting messy, man. I know. This is terrible. And this is where I was. Oh. Somebody's supposed to stop me by now. <laughs> stop doing this. Um, I think it's sort of like watching a, a train wreck. It's. I mean, there's. That's right, Trey. Schadenfreude happening right here. Ooh. That sounded cultured. Speaking of cultured. I am. I, my wife says I'm a lot like yogurt. Sour? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Tart. All right. So I did learn something on the backside, so this will go quicker. Um, well, I'm just wondering too, if, if I had, maybe if there was a, a scale issue there or something, perhaps it was causing part of that problem. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing, totally guessing. Are you, but you're one-to-one but -one scale, aren't you? You didn't, or did you resize? Uh, it's arbitrarily scaled. I just grabbed an image and pulled it in. So. Uh, but there are dimensions okay. on there, so I can, I have something I can scale to. Ah, oh, crap, I did it again. I, the thing I just, just watched the money heist. He thinks we should, you should model the, the Royal Mint, which sounds like a fancy candy to me, but that would be a fun futuristic heist thing to do. Maybe that's what we do is, is do video or do builds based on quarantine favorites. <laughs> That's, that does not sound bad at all. Um, let's uh, model our favorite quarantine videos or movies. So it's, it, I miss, I miss this when, when Cotty said it before, he said you could go back and, and do a joint push pull outwards instead. Yeah, that's, that's a great advice. Just after I finished, I, you're absolutely you're gonna, right. You're going to start losing people soon if you keep stitching. I'm done. I'm done. We're done. Well, Blake did point out that modding a tiger would be hard. So oh, tell me more about of, these mints. Oh, yeah. No. The Royal Mint. I don't know. See if we can find a picture. Uh, I heard last night that the Tiger King is tested positive for COVID-19 in prison. Oh. oh, great. He's in prison. Now oh. I don't have to watch it. Oh, well, you knew right at the beginning that that's how it ended i guess, that, I guess it is a, a secret the mugshot is the thumbnail <laughs> yeah it's it's telling uh royal print all right boom this is this so <laughs> now what we I'm got of... is we got a bunch of doors and windows to put in so i think here's what i'm going to do I think I'm going to come in here and so my my dimensions are off of this. I'm assuming these are to scale, but I don't know for certain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from the bottom here to here. And then I'm going to put a rectangle from here to here. that I wonder if this is the same uh, option not quite the same uh, where's my select see that I'm, I'm spinning my mouth this, I think this is just this is a behavioral thing that I got to get used to is being conscious of my uh, rotation of of the barrel of the pen uh, oh that affects it too no, it affects where the buttons are. So when I go to push, oh. uh, when I go to push a button, it's not always under my finger. Let me 
Okay, so I'm going to take this, make that a group, and uh, actually borrow that. Bring that down here. here and just just using the by copying it over I, these aren't the, in the right perfect spot but I can get them they'll be the same height if I line up the lines on the bottom it's basically what I'm thinking there Let's see if this is the same size window I believe it is all right uh, Manos said you look like Bono with the with the hat on, you know, have you ever heard of U two? It's a band like from the from the eighties, nineties, and two thousands. I two what? U <laughs> A two Brute. Huh. I don't know how I feel about yeah, that. No, you, yeah, you need the glasses. I think that was kind of his defining feature, wasn't it? Those yeah, those big was, bug glasses. Yeah, Corey Hart sang about wearing his sunglasses at night. Bono actually did it. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he wore glasses for like a decade straight. I think he, he probably set a record or two there. Now I'm going to go find out. All Internet, right. Tell me. Just do it. Hey, Google. <laughs> all right. The other thing I'm going to do, and this is just to keep keep this all in the same thing, uh, I'm going to come out here to my end, and I'm going to draw a line here. And I'm going to move that straight across to there. That way I'll have the vertical height. My windows, the size, sizes I'll have to pull off of somewhere else, but at least I'll know where they're at vertically. All right, so now I have these two. Um, all right, these are from the inside, so I want to make sure that I flip them when I bring them back over. So I'm going to say, move, go from, ah, in context, try that again. Move from here, put that middle point here, rotate that vertical. And then swing it 180 degrees and then move it out. All right, so that is where they will project onto the face. This one right here, same thing, move from this point. I don't have to copy it, I can just take it right over. Middle point. Q, rotate it vertical, whoops, rotate it into the model and then move it outward. All right, so should check, these should line up, oh, look at that, perfect, right against the back face there. And let's see here how this goes. Pretty darn close. So that means I can start making some cutters to put holes in the shell for these. What I'll do is I'll come in and I'll make this its own group. I'll do it to each of these. Eh, eh. Ah, oh, man, that, that the highest button is just out of reach. All right, and then I'm going to take each of these and just extend them so they cut into Check to make sure those all lap in. Yeah. All right, something I do want to check. Well, here, first before I do this, I'm going to, I'm going to grab all of this and soften it so it'll cut a nice round hole in. 
Something I want to check though is, I'll go ahead and take this now and I can explode that. So I have my lines still here out here floating around, but my solids are right here. I'll do the same thing over here real quick. And I could actually push this in first, that would work too. You know, uh, it doesn't matter. All right, now the other thing I have to do, take that and explode it. I have to make sure this is solid, which it currently is not. So let's check and see why. All right, just fix it all. That did not work. Oh, I know what's going on here. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing if I peek my head inside this, uh, come on, just look inside between the layers. I'm guessing, no, I might be able to see it in. Let's hide everything else. I'm thinking maybe uh, I got. Something suggested that your door is misplaced. All right, we'll take a look at that. It's possible everything's misplaced. Yeah, I'm not gonna stand by anything yet. Huh. Um, what is going on? It's really hard to see here, let's do this. Oh. Well, that explains, I don't even have a face here at all. So did joint push pull not give me? Weird. So joint push pull took that top section and put it into one rather than giving me any depth. Oh, so just, uh, that's, plain. that's that's not an easy solution either. Um, just delete it. Start over. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this surface and copy it. And I'm gonna, actually, I'm just gonna delete it out of here. All right, without that there, I'm gonna make this a solid. Got a couple, couple issues. So quiet. I know. I'm waiting for somebody to say something. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of feeling like I need to hit undo a ton of times and just go back and rejoint push pull this thing because all of my geometry is funky. It'd be a, a fun little experiment to just see how many times undo works. One hundred. All right, so we now have a solid here. So what I'm thinking is, now I'll go to edit, paste that lid back where it was. So that's on, is that parallel with the outside? Yes. And then I'm gonna pull it down like that. And then Definitely safe. Ah, oh, no, it wasn't. Look at that. It was. All right. Oof. So I'm just going to get that thing to fill the gap. So I'm just pushing, pulling this through so it hits the next plane. I 
Thanks. All right, now I'm gonna grab the bottom and I'm gonna scale it about the middle so that that disappears into the geometry. In theory, that sounds really like a really good idea. There we go. So now the bottom disappears into that wedge. The top ties into the edges. So as long as this now can be made into a solid group, whoops. And this is a solid group. Hmm. Saying it's not solid anymore, but let's see what Solid Inspector or uh, Solid Tools has to say about that. Likes it. Nope, Likes not it? so much. Um, oh, dang it. Yeah, I'll try this. Mm, right mouse button. Right mouse button. So Lawrence in St. Gutchins, I'm not sure what S-N-T-G-C-H-N-S means, uh, are both pointing out uh, the windows are, you got your windows lined up backwards. You need to flip them. You got your front windows at the back of the building, back of the trailer. Oh, yeah, this one, you're right. If I look at it from the inside... Well, it matches the pl no, like it is. The, the windows are backwards. You're right. The doors, no. the doors are backwards too. Something's backwards. This is backwards. Yeah, the, the windows are backwards. If you look at it, yeah, this should be over here. So I can grab. Oops. Well, the door. This and this. Make that into a group. Scale it. Oops. About the middle. Boom. Okay. So now if I look at it, that's, there we go. Good call. All right, now I gotta grab this. Get rid of this line, get rid of this line. Actually, before I do that, let me try uh, I agree with running. David, Dave. Hmm. It's a very confusing layout on that, on the initial drawing. It is, because you're looking inside out, so. It's definitely not obvious. All right, so I'm gonna try to explode this and make it a group again. Now it comes up as a solid group, awesome. So now in theory, I should be able to grab this and this, do an outer shell, and then that should close it in. I, I mean, it's, it's hard to look at, especially curved geometry like that. So I'll probably have more cleanup to do now. Um, but it's hard with curved geometry like that to kind of sometimes see what's going on. Uh, and I, I missed that. I don't know. I missed... I don't know how it did that. It just, for whatever reason, that top piece, it didn't thicken it. It thickened everything else except for that piece, which is very strange maybe to me. Is that face not selected when you started, when you did it? I, I, I thought it was all one piece, so I don't really know how that didn't work. Well, we'll have to go back and watch the, watch the tapes yeah. later. <laughs> Good thing we, were got, we got tape. We can re always review. All right, so there we go. We're back to something now. So you can save. I can and did. All right, I definitely got some spare geometry on the inside here. Oh, that was the inside popping through the outside. Ah, easy to fix though. Um, dang, I hate when that happens because I don't like not knowing why my model's not working the way I want my model to work. Okay. Now. Hmm. 
we got back to the solid group. So now what I can do is I can say, cut this from this, and that should give me a door. Or no, let's call that a window. <laughs> Same thing here. We'll go ahead and grab this. Every cool. time a door closes, another window opens or something like that. An angel gets its wings. That's right. That's right. A door gets its wings. Okay. Yeah, this is right. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm second guessing Endless myself. Fix. Endless fix scrolled back and said, you vector, vector thickened locked in the blue axis and it's parallel with the top plane. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't hmm. know what I'm reading. Wouldn't that give me, I use thickener. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Did, did I not use thickener? Um, mm. That was like mm. an hour ago, man. You've been stitching for at least 45 minutes. And so at this point I've just zoned out. I only stitched a little bit. That was not hours of stitching. It's only 1.30. We've only been on this thing for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So almost got these in. Then let's go get the end windows in, at least into the shell. Cody said you did. Hmm? Cody said did. you okay. did. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Oops, I just did that wrong. I'm going to have a mess here in just a second. Yeah, not what I wanted. Now let's grab this. Cut it. All right. All right. Looking good. Okay, so. So I have, a, I have a dog showed up here with a bone, and I'm curious if that is audible to the rest of the world. Nope. I don't hear anything. He stopped. <laughs> nope, he's leaving. Okay. <laughs> He got self-conscious. We have we have we have a show dog. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what I got to figure out now is let's see. This is section two. So this is this looking this way. So this is the window that goes in over here. So what I want is I just want a line that goes from here to here. I will point out, I have not taken a single measurement of anything. <laughs> For good, bad, whatever, <laughs> nothing has been measured yet. All right, so. So uh, whatever scale it is, it looks good. Especially when you right. really scroll out, when you zoom out. So now if I grab a line and pull away you get, the better like it looks. this. To here, I'm going to go vertical to here, along the green axes to here, and then vertical again to here. That line is the size of my window. Pull it this way, pull it this way. That's what's getting cut out for that end window. Now, what I'm curious about is if this is the same size as this. Because I think this is bathrooms right here. That's section six, five or six? Yeah. So if I paste this here, we'll turn it to lay it flat. No, definitely a different size. Okay, so once again, we'll do it again. Grab a line across here, I'm gonna select it, move it from the center point. From the center point, I'm gonna line that up with the center here, straight out from the center, and then I can just spin it 90 degrees. And now this should be lined up at the very end. So I can go like this, come across to this length, to this height, 
to, oh, oh I see you shift over here. Ha ha, time saver. Make a rectangle. <laughs> Jim said you're doing what we in the industry call guy balling. Which Sounds right. As I said out loud, it seems sort of inappropriate, but. Well, it was until you said that. <laughs> All right, and now I can cut those out. Just grab it, minus that from this. Spinny, spinny. Oh. Got that heater going right. in the garage today? Uh, it was on earlier. Uh, turn it off because nobody wants to have a background noise of so it's off now, but uh, I, I can, I can start to get cool. My legs are starting to get a little chilly. All right. Why, that's why I'm wearing long pants. That's, that's an excellent idea. All right, so I'm gonna go get rid of my extra lines. Okay. Um, That's gotta go. Did you save? Yes. Good. <laughs> totally, totally saved before you said that. All right, I'm gonna, got some little ears sticking up, but I think that's gonna be easy enough to, I'm honestly not looking to stitch. I'm just, I'm at that point where. <laughs> it looks a little compulsive. Oh, there's a break there. There we go. Um, yeah, I kind of wonder, I'm still still trying to figure out what uh, joint push pull did to me there. So we were tight, but I guess. John. John McSee had said a little while ago, he said, you did use thickener, but you haven't reversed the door and, or, and window side. You rotated them in position instead of mirror. Oh, he might be talking about something else. Never mind. Dang it. Hmm. Thick and locked in the blue. Yeah, no, nobody's, nobody else has figured it out yet. Okay. All right. I'm feeling good about my shell right now. That's kind of... That's kind of nice. I don't, whoa, wait, whoa, wait. Shut up, dude. Don't say things like that. Jeez. In, endless fix set is probably sunspots. I think maybe it's Mercury's in retrograde. I Obviously, I got the corona. That's the problem. Isn't uh, less than perfect modeling one of the effects? It, it is, yeah. It's one of the symptoms. All right. All right, there we go. Actually, I, I'm messing with stuff I don't need to mess with because really all I have to do here is connect this point to this point, this point back to this point. I can actually get rid of these lines. I don't have to mess with making them coplanar or any stuff like that. They shouldn't be there to begin with. Look at that. That's that's pretty. Same thing down here. This is all just garbage. Can all go. Off. Awesome. Shoo. This is why I really I mean I will advocate for this. A shortcut key to show hidden. That's good stuff. All right. What's your shortcut key? Um, I don't know because it's mapped on here. Uh <laughs> it's show hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay. Obviously. Sure. <laughs> what else gonna be? All right. So that's good. That is that is what we got. Now I'm trying to think of how to do. Uh, how to do the windows. 
because it does look, <laughs> according to this drawing right here, um, it does kind of look like they're, and it is, I know Dave's already saying it, I can, I can feel it. Uh, these are low quality images. I think, I think Jody shared it. They're not, uh, it's not awesome. But I think what we can do is, let me, let me see something, because I think it's a flat plane, but it's rotated slightly. So I think it's something like this. If I come in here and grab middle point to middle point. Whoa, man. Still having, having those mouse driver issues. Jumping this. Wait a minute, let me check something. There we go. That might help. So 3D mouse, 3D connection, the, the mouse option, there's an option about what it's supposed to spin around. Because when you're normally inside of SketchUp, you orbit, it orbits around whatever geometry or whatever pixel is underneath the tip of your cursor. So that's not there with the 3D mouse, obviously. It, it, it rotates independent of the cursor location. But one of the options you have in here is to set the rotation center to use the selected item. So that's why I was having such a problem, that's why I was jumping around so much, is because as I was rotating it, it was rotating around the middle of this rather than the geometry I was working on. So uh, something to be conscious of, if you do use a 3D mouse, watch, watch that. All right, so I'm gonna take this to the center of this piece, and then from there, we go to there. All right, so that looks like that's the window. Um, I'm going to do some things now. One point, whoops. One point five. All right, and I'm going to take this push-pull this out to the corner there, push-pull, yeah, but, all right, I'm going to save because, you know, because I'm good at it. Um, I'm going to use vector push-pull again. So, Let's go tool palettes and turn on joint push pull. I believe the green one is vector. Oh it's looking like YouTube lost our stream. Uh -oh. Well, several people have reported that it's either frozen or buffering. Yeah, last uh -oh. last shot I see is I don't know how long ago. See what happens if we reload it. Oh, and let's fix that it's back. Okay. Let's fix it's back. Christopher said it's here. Bob said it's back. Lord well, back. that was the most entertaining six seconds of this live stream ever. Sorry if anybody missed that. Whew, that was good stuff. Huh, I'll never be able to do that again. <laughs> so That's I drew my... That's my fault. I, I that, so it was probably stop the video too. I... I uh, I have this rectangle drawn in plane with a little offset. I'm going to grab this right here and do a vector push-pull from this point out on the green axis to this point. That's going to pull it straight across. Normal push-pull, of course, would pull it normal to that plane, so pull it out at a weird angle. Vector push-pull pulls it out straight. So that's going to be in line with, with that edge there. Um, and I'll come over to this side and do the same thing. I'll grab this vector push pull from this point to this point. And then I'll triple click and make that ah, a group. All right. Um, I did make it a group and not a component. That was intentional because 
this, I'm going to copy and stick, whoops, missed it, right here. Nope, I didn't quite get it there, did I? A little more moving. All right, and now I'll turn that 180 degrees. And that falls perfectly in line there because I copied, when I, I took my reference uh, geometry, I made it the same height at the same height. So it's the same there. And now all I have to do is open, again, because it's a group. Actually, no, before I do that, I'm going to copy it over here. Say move it from here, option to whoa. here, option to here. And that one fits perfectly because that one actually was a copy of the window on the other side. This one, however, I have to select it, grab the end geometry. I don't want to scale it because if I scale, it'll distort the geometry and I'll end up with these rails on the end. It'll be bigger than the verticals. So I'll grab just this geometry, hit move, pull that straight over to there. Same thing over here. I'll come in here, grab this, move from here over to here. Normally I don't do much textures because I like to just, I like that white, but I'm going to put a uh, glass texture on here. Just something like that. Steve suggested that the YouTube stream froze because you had the heater off. Oh, well, unfortunately, much as I'd like to turn it back on, I'll blow a fuse. <laughs> 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 I can only... So uh, it's not really... I can either run, to be quiet I either have to run the streaming computer or the heater. I can't do both. If you had one of the old Macs, like one of the, the towers, those aluminum towers, then you wouldn't need a heater. That's because true. once you have that thing going, it would be a little furnace. Very, very true. Oops. And I, oh, I can, well, no, see, this one's going to be a little different because I don't, think uh, I can just stretch that. This is the geometry is going to be different on this one. So I'll have to redraw that initial. I actually wonder how this is even going to fit because I wonder if this is actually multiple pieces because I don't know if it can do this whole arc and fill in the gap. Well, Lawrence said you could light a lot of scented candles. I think it'd be awesome. Like some of those nice Jesus candles. I That's could. blasphemous. One, one could do all these things. Nope. Tomorrow's another day. Ah. I am struggling with, uh, and this is, so Tyson in our office who does the, the SketchUp Campus stuff uses a uh, tablet all the time. And uh, one of the things that he said was, it did take practice to not move your hand when you're clicking. Whereas as you're dragging a mouse along, you can just kind of, you know, basically take pressure off the mouse and click. Uh, with this, you have to kind of do the opposite and anchor your hand down before you click. Uh, so the, the, the process of dropping to the bottom to click is uh, something I'm struggling with a little bit, especially with that precision drawing of that. Is. The internet is suggesting to me that these windows are all curved, but maybe it's only the front window. Hmm. Well, see, look at the, look at my sections here. That looks straight. That looks straight. I don't have a section through the window that I'm looking at right now, though, which is a big one. Oh, it's two pieces. Here's what I'm going to do. I get to make stuff up. This is my design. I don't care. <laughs> it's not like they're going to sue you or anything. Well, maybe. I don't know. I can have half of everything I made today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna say, Meh. yeah, right there. And then 
we'll just make it two pieces. I think that's going to work. Rather than draw those lines a second time, I'm going to grab both of them. And I'm going to use push line and just pull them right across. Happy little window. All right. All right. And I did an offset before of 1.5. One point five. Oh. All right, now what I should be able to do is grab both of these, use vector push pull to pull it straight out like that. Do that. Nope. What? What? Hey. I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. I was in a meeting yesterday with Sandra and what they're doing at their house is they have camper time where she and her husband <laughs> take turns getting to go out to the camper to do their work without kids. Yeah, they have two younger children and uh, yeah, she told me that too. <laughs> I've had a couple uh, conference awesome. calls with her. Yeah, from her in her camper. So when I, mine was with her, not in her camper. Aiden was in the camper. Mm -hmm. and, she, and she had kids climbing all over her. That Aiden. I don't know what that really meant, but. It meant something. Uh, all right, so let's see if I can just orient this. Uh, close. I have some internal faces here, I'm guessing. So let's peek inside, shall we? No, actually, I don't think I do. Well, the chat got really quiet. Sorry. I know I got quiet too. I, I'm in, I'm in like, get this final, not, not the word final, but like get this thing finished mode. So I apologize. I was going to actually ask i want more more suggestions you guys had some good suggestions last week of of uh what to watch um not that we i passed the halfway on better call saul so i got like maybe a week and a half left of that show and then it's done so i wonder what else anybody had out there for good solid movies hi i haven't been watching anything this week i've been playing borderland Ants. That's true. That does uh, reduce the amount of time you need to spend actually watching movies. <laughs> Sebastian suggests Outbreak. It sounds too close to home. It's probably <laughs> I know. A, little, a little too close for comfort. Right. And then these ones should be super easy because I think these are rectangles, right? Yeah, that's on a flat. <laughs> and this guy right here. Patrick, Patrick said, close. in quotes, what did you do on Friday in response? I don't know. I watched some guy stitch for 40 minutes on YouTube. Oh, come on, guys. I moved past it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what this is what passes for. Uh, what is this? Entertainment? Education? I don't even know. Uh, mm, there we go. Woo! And this will be easy because I can just pull this one straight out. And this will go straight in. It was funny. I had, whoops. I had somebody, I just thought I would, I would comment on this. Uh, so these videos, once they're done, they just kind of, they live in the Facebook stream. They just kind of keep going with, with the stream. But on YouTube, we actually, uh, they're, they're, they're maintained like a regular video. So even though they were live, they get up there, they get all the information just like a regular live video. Uh, 
and uh, I had a couple comments, which I thought were, I didn't take any offense to them, but somebody was made a comment almost offended. I can't remember what video it was on, but like they were irritated that the video was as long as it was. S said something along the lines of, I'm not going to, I'm not going to watch a blank hour video just to figure out how to model that thing or something along those lines. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting because we happen to leave them up because it's, you know, it's nothing to us to just click, you know, actually don't click anything and they just stay up. Uh, but I thought that was interesting that someone was like offended that it was such a long video and they did not want to hang out for it. It's, it's probably funner to watch these whenever, you know, it seems like we're talking live, not yesterday. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't it. as funny yesterday as I am today. <laughs> Was that, that it's part broken? of my mission to always improve. I thought I was just going to be able to pull that straight across, but that's not a single line for some reason. Try it again. Um, yeah, but like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't, didn't take any offense to it, but I was kind of surprised because that's uh, actually seen a lot of people who, who uh, you know, this, this video or this stream is at you know, the middle of the night or super early in the morning, their time zone. So what they end up doing is checking it out at a different time. So watch it in the morning or something like, th like that, which I thought that was cool. I mean, I, and I told you guys before, it, it blows me away the support we get people hanging out with us or spending time it's really cool um but at the same time i guess i guess anytime there's positive there's somebody being negative with the same thing right so i guess i shouldn't be surprised there was a suggestion in the in the thread there to put it on we should upload this stuff to netflix maybe we could start to syndicate like we'll get it on netflix get it on hulu and prime uh you know anything's possible but probably not that I think that this would be a much different show in the middle of the night, either if we were doing this in the middle of the night or if I was watching this in the middle of the night. Yeah, I would expect something more from it. Welcome to SketchUp After Hours. Whoa, SketchUp After Dark. <laughs> All right, there's the window. Oh, man, I'm struggling with the uh, the click. Um. I should say one of the spots that, that we've seen a lot of people who use uh, tablets is people who are also using it for other things. So people who are uh, using a tablet for Illustrator, Photoshop also hop over and use it in uh, SketchUp as well, which that makes a lot of sense. But having said that, there's a lot of people like, oh, I mentioned Tyson before is using it. And then uh, Nick Saunders is another guy who uses a tablet all the time. Which is well, Tyson's weird because he doesn't just do SketchUp. He does everything. It's his mouse. He's yeah. got that thing sitting in front of him. And he's using, you know, Google Docs and pulling out his tablet. Yeah, Tyson is weird. <laughs> he's not here, right? No, he no. can't see me, can he? All right. Um, I appreciate that six foot two and has a mono brow and a uh, affects a very offensive demeanor on command. He's a, one of the nicest guys ever, though. Yeah, he is. I gotta say that because I'm scared. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So <laughs> next thing I got to do is get a door in here. And I'm trying to figure the best way to do that. So what I think I'm going to do. Oh yeah, there's a radio. I think I did that on this. The radial menu is from from the 3D mouse. I had different ways to bring up radial men menus. <laughs> I think both both devices will do it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to grab this curved geometry. So just grab these faces real quick. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste them right here. Um. 
put a rectangle on the ground. Right here. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have to say this out loud. I'm going to repeat Lawrence's joke. All right. I like jokes. So he, so he says, a man goes into the pharmacy and asks a woman, what's the best thing for killing the virus? Ammonia cleaner. She replies, oh, sorry. I thought you worked here. He replied. It took me three times of reading that before I finally got that ammonia sounds sort of like I'm only, uh, I'm explaining it to you in case you're not here. Ah, nice. Okay. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Uh, I did hear somebody, I thought this was, was kind of funny. I can't remember even where this was, but uh, someone who was in a store and saw somebody walking around or pushing a cart full of all the stuff we're looking for, right? Had like stacks of... Uh, cleaner and uh like wipes uh, all the all the stuff you need rubber gloves had just all of it just stacks and stacks of it and this guy just went up and just kind of led into him about how he was you know stealing essential re requirements from like the elderly and the young and this, this young 20 something had all this stuff the assumption was he's gonna go out and sell it or something along those lines and uh just, just, just tore him a new one because of it. After he got done, the kid looked at him and goes, "Are you done now?" He goes, "Yeah." He goes, "Okay, I gotta get back to work. I gotta put these on the shelves." Went and tore into some poor stock boy, <laughs> thinking that he was stockpiling. All right. Dang it! All right, I'm gonna take that. I'm going to slide it just inside. I don't even want to go halfway. I want to just go like that much in there. All right. And I'm going to grab this edge. I'm going to move it horizontally. Hey, Aaron, what's the software you're using that shows your keystrokes in the corner? Someone keeps uh, asking. It's called Keycaster, I believe. Let me pull it up. Yep, Keycaster. And because it's tech, it can't just be C-A-S-T-E-R. You got to lose the E. Caster. Key caster. That's the one. Uh, it works pretty well. The only downside to it, uh, as I've used it, is it will only show keystrokes in one place. And that is on your main uh, monitor. So I, a lot of times when I do recordings i'll have multiple monitors and record one monitor recording software's on another but it will only it doesn't give you the option to show on a secondary monitor but it works okay for this all right so now i'm going to take this plane and i'm going to say intersect face with the entire model that will come in and break the outside so now if i make this new group and i go into it and get rid of all this, all this. MCAD said try the K key instead of X-ray. What does K map to? Is that that's to the, the that's back edges? Back faces, yeah. I, I personally really like the way that X-ray looks now in the newer versions. Um, so I end up using it a lot. Uh, some people like that. I don't know. I, I like seeing the surfaces stack up, but uh, that's your call. It is an option. You can do that. One could. All right, so I get this door some depth now. So I'm going to grab it, grab the surface. Have it, have it read philosophy. What's that now? Does it, does it have it read philosophy? That'll make it deep. Nice. nice. That, was, that was well played. I, I will give you credit for that one. Yeah. Yeah. and there's a door all right it's just it's coming along uh oh you know what i was why is this like this it's because that top is not properly painted all right we're getting air streamy 
I'm going to go ahead. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Lawrence said you should have kept a copy of the original shell before you cut out the door. Absolutely. Several times when I had to play with this whole mess on the top, I was like, oh, if I just copied that shell or made a component or something. <sighs> Come on, new guy. What is it you do here anyway? No kidding. Oops. I don't know how to well, obviously say I didn't do that right. Hold on. But our comment just popped up. You could accomplish this in 2018. There's nothing. You're not doing anything in SketchUp 2020 specific here. This is probably used yeah. to do all this in SketchUp 6. Yeah, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe not curve lock. Yeah, I don't know. That would, that would be the, my only thought. Uh, solid tools? I don't know when solid tools came around. Yeah, but you still had intersect with faces. You could have. That's true. You could, could have faked your way through that. Yeah, it would be possible. All right. So I think that's that's that. Uh, I'm going to go to tags and get my floor back in here. I'm going to take my floor. And I'm going to make that black. All right. So the big question I have right now is where the wheels go. Yeah, how are you going to roll this thing? Uh, I'm not sure if we've got any good pictures of it when on wheels. Looks like there's, in most cases, a, there's a little hump for the wheels. <laughs> yeah, your, your original drawing, there's, some, there's a little cutout for wheels there. Is there. Oh, yeah, here there. Here's the wheel wells. Oh, yeah. So I know there's two wheels. That's the thing I know. Well, yeah, it looks like they go they're right about here. So let's make some wheels. Um, I'll right. just draw a circle probably and push pull for the thickness. <laughs> go. I got to do a little more. Just, just a touch past that. <laughs> All right, we'll do these vertically. Uh, come here. So right about here, right about that big. All right. So I'm going to Whenever take... I checked this earlier, it's, it's about a 21-foot trailer based on other dimensions in there. So you probably uh, have to do two wheels. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely do two wheels. All right, I'm going to... Definitely with two wheels. <laughs> That's a movie I haven't seen for too long. Maybe that'll make it on the quarantine hit list sebastian sebastian suggested they look like john malkovich so i had to rewatch uh rounders this week that's a, that's a good one to go back to if you haven't watched that in a while it's that's... only been 22 years since it came out <laughs> don't you hate when you're like yeah i remember when that movie came out and you're like oh that was decades ago <laughs> Dang it. yeah i think it came out the same year as the matrix <laughs> that or... was actually on my list my uh my children still have not seen The Matrix, um, and they're teenagers, so it's... It, you know what's funny is I went back and I looked it up, and it's it's rated R, which really made me pause for a minute because I can't figure out why. I feel like it's... I think it's just violence is, is like to... the big thing. Yeah, but I think you can get away with more. Like, I was, so I watched The Thing with my son, you know, the old 1980s John, John Carpenter movie. Uh, like Kurt back... Russell, right? Is he, he was in it? Yeah, and Wilford Brimley without a mustache. Uh, I didn't know that happened. But I watched that, <laughs> yeah, it's very weird. And it was not scary. It would scare the crap out of me whenever I was a kid. And watching it now, I think Stranger Things is more frightening than oh, yeah? the thing was. Hmm. Yeah. So I do remember I nowadays. There's that scene where the thing, uh, I don't want to spoil this for anybody, but where he takes out that <laughs> dog and it's all flopping around. And like, I remember that scared the crap out of me. Yeah, there's, some messy, there's some messed up stuff in that show. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. Yeah, the oatmeal dude. And the diabetes dude. He does. Somebody. Asked if that's who Wilford Brimley was, right? He was on the. He was a Quaker, Quaker Oats, Oats was the big thing I remember. Yeah. Yeah. But I think he's also I think he's also more more recently done uh, 
diabetes awareness commercials or something. All right, I'm gonna fill. It's a good looking wheel, man. Thanks. I was going to make, a, wheel man. To gonna make a wheel man baby driver joke, but I let it go. Oh, nice. Good. Way to let it go. That's, you could probably rewatch that. I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll gladly recommend everybody go watch everything that Edgar Wright has made. Because they're all great. And Brian's right. Uh, Wilford Brimley says diabetes. He does which, say diabetes. That's how my mom says it too. It, you know, actually, it's kind of funny because uh, speaking of Wilford Brimley and earlier we were talking about Seinfeld, he plays the postmaster general in Seinfeld. I don't know if you guys remember that. Oh, yeah. He has his mustache in that. You don't want to cancel your mail now, do you, son? No. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So I've done this a couple times before, but. Just pointing out, I'm going to copy these onto the other side, so I'm making my little flag right down the center, and that way I can just click Keurig Mirror, hover over this, option click, and now I'll have, whoops, I'm not, I'm not committing to my click. You know what it is? No. Uh... Keurig is, uh, okay, this is weird. All right, so. I'm gonna take both of those, click Keurig mirror, and I'm gonna hover over this face. It shows me the preview. If I click, it doesn't show up. Oh, this is so weird. Huh. I don't know. If I just click here, does it work? Weird. Weirdness is happening. All right. Fine. 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 We'll do this. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. If that's how it's going to be. I, I, I'm ready for this. I'm going to push pull this center axle, if you will, out to this middle point. Still going to use my little flag there. And then I'll come in here and I'll select all this geometry. I will hit Q. I'll go to the middle point of this. Dang it, middle point. I'll flip that around 180 degrees and, and take that. I don't need no mirror. All right. Oh, I can get rid of that now, too. Whew. Looking pretty sweet. It's definitely a trailer. I know that. It's undeniable. Yeah. Try and tell me that's not a trailer. All right. I am curious. Have you saved lately? Yes. Good. Yeah, I'm just checking. Um, I wonder if anybody else has uploaded any new renders. Or uh, somebody. Or bag end. Gilad2002 started uploading, but it looks like he hit submit before the finished uploading because it just says that it's uploading yeah unfortunately that was two hours ago there's yeah, a chance so he might not did not might, might not be with one. us anymore so if you're if you're on the stream and your forum name is g-i-l-a-d 2002 you got to wait till it finishes saying uploading before you hit post because uh all we know now is that you did at some point try to start an upload you are planning on recessing those wheels, like tucking those in, right? You don't like that there? Gosh. I love it. But 
BJ Beatty called you out. Now I need wheel wells. <sighs> Should have thought about that when you were building this thing. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to. All right. I'm going to come. Finta. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna make another cutter. Those wheels are are like completely sucked in if you look at an actual airstream. Are like, they? they do not stick out at all. All right, we can do that too. Do whatever we want. Completely recess them. We can do that. All right, let me try let me try doing this with back edges instead of uh, all right all right I think the wheel well looks something like this is this correct it's looking better Let's get in there. All right, I'm going to erase. Oh, uh, I forgot where my modifier keys are. I think this is option. Yeah, I hit command. So, Giovanni asked how you got your color tray to look like pencils. It's a Mac only question. Yeah, I buy the Mac. It's just the default, again, that default color uh, tray that we use inside of SketchUp. For Mac, it looks like colored pencils. Whereas I think, doesn't Windows have crayons? Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty sure I might be right on that, but I don't know. All right, uh, I'm gonna take this window well and spin it around this middle point I just made, a copy of it. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use it as a cutter, but I'm going to trim so i'm going to say take this and i'm going to rather than subtract i'm going to say trim that's not solid how's this not solid there's nothing to it probably have a external faces okie dokie all right try it again select here i'm going to say trim from this piece so that'll just go in and cut out where this space is but it'll leave my, my window weld geometry uh, as it was. So again, trim. Because I'll take this window weld geometry now and I'll actually turn it into the pan on the inside of the wind, wheel well, excuse me, I keep saying window well, wheel well. I'll turn it into the pan and the, uh, the guard that kind of sticks out on the outside. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select this and say, Actually, that sticks out even further. That's not quite centered. All right, move it. Oh. Use the same piece as a cutter to trim the floor 
So there's a hole in the floor for this. Same thing over here, select this, trim out the floor. It all looks the same right now, but if I was to come in now and hide this, you'll see that's what we cut out on both sides. Now, I'm gonna take these two, their groups, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, go to group copies, and convert into components. Uh, that is a part of, oh, what's the name of it? Who's got the name of that? That's Tom Tom's groups into components, might be. Maybe it's part of solid or of selection toys. Awesome tool though. Um, all right, so now no, I have to make. I'm not sure what to search for. I'm 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 going a little off script here, I admit, but I'm gonna make something cool. I wanna get like a little bit of a kind of a mud guard. I don't know. So I'm gonna take just these edges. If you look in the forum thread at the crushed airstream there, you can see the way that the wheels are kind of tucked in there. It just kind of looks like there's a lip that goes around the bottom edge all the way around. So I got you. Ch check just just check me. Watch me. Watch me here. should be happening on both sides because I'm working with groups. I'm gonna push pull this back so it is just outside at the top edge. Sometimes it's gonna be a little bit of a, a challenge because of snap points, but it's where precision, there you go. So just sticks out. So you leave it like that or If we grab these two lines on the edge, maybe move those in like that. And then do the same thing with these brakes right here. Grab both of those, move those in ever so slightly. Claudia said it is groups to components, version 1.1.0. Oh. Nice. Uh, that got weird. Undo that. I'm gonna actually rotate those. I'm gonna cue. From that point, I'm gonna take this point, rotate it back to Eh, this isn't working as good as I thought it was going to. I'll just leave that because that looks nice. Let me look at the let me look at the wreck because uh, apparently that's our best photo reference is a wrecked airstream. Okay, I don't know if that told me anything. I feel pretty good about what I got going. <laughs> I'm about to type something in the chat and it's going to explode. So be prepared. Sorry, I'm not trying to redesign anything. I'm just working off of my total lack of reference imagery. All right. I feel like this is a good spot. I'm feeling like, uh... oh, scale. Hold up. What's the number that oh, yeah. I got? Um... All right, here we go. Six foot seven, top to bottom. I'm gonna come in here, grab any point on this side, pull line out, go straight up, go vertical. 
come to this top plane right here. So that should be six foot seven. Um, I'm going to get rid of anything else I don't need. And now I'm going to scale this, this line, which is currently 14 foot eight to Michelle foot just, seven. Michelle just chimed in and said, we're using a rect Airstream as a reference. I know. Would you like a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> There's some uh, forensic work there. Let's bring this over by Laura. Reference size wise. All right, pull that up to the origin. That looks like it's about the right size, I would say. Pretty good. I feel pretty uh, nice Don about is, that. Don, Don thinks you probably could have been a little more Airstream accurate, but all in all, this is air. This is the Aaron model. It's the Aaron stream. Yeah. Uh, no, I think that that was that was pretty cool. Um, I was, like I said, that was, Jody, you commented on this too. I was very surprised at the lack of like plans or imagery. I mean, I know this, the Airstream is, I mean, it's a name brand. It's not like just saying a trailer or a caravan or whatever. Airstream is a, a company that makes a specific thing. But I was surprised to not be able to find something, some, some measured accurate plans in everything I looked at. So. That was kind of a surprise for me, uh, but working off what we got, this is this is this is not bad. Uh, I think this turned out all right. This is a a cool looking, a cool looking thing. We did we did a good job. Um, I think the part was your was your corners whenever you were curve lofting them. Mm -hmm. That was the highlight for me. That was good. That was two hours ago. That's cool. Yeah 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 yeah. It's all been downhill since then. Oh well, I appreciate the honesty. No, I don't. I, I, I'm too fragile. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's been a, a, a level, even amount of greatness the entire time. Oh, I like that. Even greatness. Greatish. Uh, Stephen Stewart did ask where the yoke is. You know, how you hook that up to your, your truck to haul it. Apparently I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a park in place. This is being kept on site at a uh, Airbnb. That's right. This is a this is uh, a tiny home in Boulder, Colorado. Well, yeah, that's that's awesome. I think it turned out all right. Um, I will save this. I will post this. So if you guys do want to get crazy with it, you want to want to get all yoky on it, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, or put a hobbit in it. Stick a hot. I don't care. Do what you want. Put some reflective shiny metal on it and render it. I'd be okay seeing that. That'd be fun. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll share this. Uh, overall, I think that was that was cool. That was a fun thing. I, the geometry was challenging, but like I said, it was the the best. I, I thought it was an okay job considering the references that we had to to model it. Um, yeah, I think it turned out okay. I, I got to fix this though. Let's get this. I think Dave just just volunteered to model the Airstream jammed onto the back of the Pontiac. I that sounds awesome. I'll 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 look you at saw, that. Did you see that in the thread? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first comment. I did. I like it. I I would love to see that, Dave. <laughs> Steve wants to know what your edge and face count ended up being. Uh, let's see. We can we can find that out. Not terrible. I was more conscious of this than was like with the Cobra where I just kind of went for it. I did, when it broke it out, it, it was it was not building off of ridiculous curves. So not too bad. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very, still very, very quick, very easy to move around. So a snappy model still, if you will. Uh, and I'm I gotta say, so overall, I, this, this became very comfortable, very quick. 
working with the tablet. Um, I mean, as far as actually just going into modeling, it became, I would say, second nature very quickly. Well, once you started using the space mouse in your other hand, right? That was, that was the, yeah, that was the thing for me. But that's just because I'm so used to this, I think. If I did limit myself to this, I could get used to this, uh, this combination also, uh, but it would take a little bit more work. Um, I do, like I said, I, I do most of these models with the space mouse, but I don't always have the space mouse with me. A lot of times when I work on the road or something like that, or maybe just even at home, I don't always have that space mouse. So I, I do tend to do a lot of it with just the mouse. So I'm, I'm, I am still proficient at using orbit and the modifier keys with the middle wheel, but, uh, yeah, I think I could get used to this too. The part that I was the only real part that I struggled with was remembering my modifier keys, but that's just habit. Same thing with, with any of these. Um, I was actually thinking about putting a little piece of tape here and writing down what they were. I think that would have helped me <laughs> get used to what those, those shortcuts were. Um, the other thing is just as I'm holding the pen, not, not spinning it as I work on it. I don't know if that's just something I do, uh, but I, Many times I went to hit the button and the button was actually facing down. I had to spin it back up. So well, it might not with styluses, but like just doing drafting, like mm -hmm. actually using a drafting pen and trying to draw on a drafting board, like real paper stuff. I tend mm -hmm. to spin my pencil just because I don't want my lead to get flat. Yeah, maybe that's part of it too. Um, it is kind of cool though because it comes with so in this base, there's actually a bunch of. Uh, replacement nibs. You can see that. The black ones are kind of hard plastic, but the, the white ones are actually felty. And I put one of the felt ones in there and it does feel like you're dragging a pencil on paper as opposed to like plastic on plastic, which can feel a little bit slippery and fake. Uh, and that was kind of nice because you can actually, as I move this around, it, there's some resistance as that felt drags on the plastic of the tablet. So I like that, that was, that was a cool option to have. Um, overall though, I do think that, and this is, I mean, just so you guys know, uh, SketchUp and Wacom just have a friendly relationship. This is not like a sponsored video or anything like that, but they wanted to get my thoughts on, on the 3D pen and the, using the tablet. And I'd say that extra mouse button on the 3D pen is great. I know with like drawing things, you get the eraser, which this doesn't have, so you can swing around and, and erase lines or something like that. I, I don't see where a eraser would be that helpful on, on this. Um, but having that extra button to map to the, the middle mouse button, that's, that's really cool. So this is, if you guys do use Wacom already, uh, checking out the Pro Pen 3D is, it'd be worth it, I think. Um, it's definitely, I've used other, this is, probably my fourth or fifth tablet. So I'm not totally new to this. Um, I just never used it in, with SketchUp before. And I gotta say, this was, this was, this was, this was pretty cool. This was nice. Um, I did like it. Um, yeah, somebody's pointing out that there, there are gestures you can assign to the touch portion of this. And I did not get into that. That was a little, little too much for my, for me. Um, so there is more. You can definitely take this even further if you're willing to set up. It's just like working with the, with the 3D mouse, though. You got to put time into using it and fine tune it and tweak it as you go. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I don't. I mean, I, I'm I, I like my mouse a lot, but this is something I might actually use some more because this did feel very natural uh, modeling with this. So cool. Did it help yeah, that we you were forced to do it for the show today? Maybe you should do another show that's only that. That's only the the pad again. Well, it's, yeah, just like you did today. Maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know yeah. what I'll do. <laughs> Always changing is the future. That's right. That's right. Uh, cool. Well, thank you guys very much for hanging out with us. I think we got kind of a cool thing done. Some definitely some uh, some crazy geometry in here. Uh, it turned out really well. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for hanging out. Uh, go have an awesome, safe weekend. Stay safe, stay sane. We will be back here so, with another Q&A session on Monday. I'm throwing in one last 
Patrick had a, a last suggestion for, step of, for people to watch tonight. Felt very topical with, spe with specifically to you was Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> All right, I'm shutting you off. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Not bad. It wasn't mine, but I appreciated it. Okay, so back to this. <laughs> You guys. <laughs> Monday Q and A. You guys are awesome. Uh, come back Monday. We'll do a Q and A. Next Wednesday we'll do another model along. I think we'll go back to some machine parts or something like that. Something very specific and exact we can model. Um, I will be using my mouse for that. But uh, yeah, and we'll come back. I'm not sure what we have queued up for next Friday, but we'll have something awesome happening. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us, Jody. Thank you for helping out. You're welcome. And you guys, like I said. Stay safe, stay sane, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. See you, guys.